Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Black Lightning season number one, episode number six, Three Sevens, The Book of Thunder. The episode directed by Benny Boom. Okay, here we have an episode where things get revealed, which is great. We finally have Anessa not, not telling secrets to her parents anymore. Fine. And we have we, we have uh, Jefferson and um and Lynn, both of them know that, that Anessa has powers. Fantastic! We're all on board on that. But, I didn't like how it was executed. I didn't like, see, I, I, I like the fact that the truth came out. Fantastic, we're all on board on that. They could finally become a team, work together. Great. But I didn't like the way they used, how they, how they got there. That's, that's the problem I have with this episode. Like there's, there's two parts of this episode, I'm not, well, three parts really, that I'm not fully on board with. But, I, but the thing is, though, I like the reveals that they give me. I just don't like the ex execution that is given. I, at the same time, I just, damn it. So, okay, first off, let's start off with the first problem I had. Okay, now, you have Vanessa. She got her powers. Now she got a costume. And the first time she used her powers, she used them on these two drug dealers. These two low-life drug dealers. And she used her strength on them. And she almost, she could have killed them. And she realized, oh, my goodness, with all this power I have, I can actually hurt somebody really, really bad. So I better know how to control this so I won't kill somebody while I'm out here trying to save people. So you thought she learned that lesson here. You thought she learned that lesson and she, she, she'd be a little, little bit more responsible with her powers instead of just using them all willy-nilly to get somebody killed. So, lesson learned. That's what I thought. But here's the problem. Now, in the, in the day, it's going on right now, we have a lot of statues that have been put up People who owned slaves, you know, people who was, um, fought against um, the, um, the, the North and, and stuff like that. We had these statues of people, especially in the South, put up there. And all that pretty much just represents oppression. So a lot of the people want these statues taken down. And you got a lot of white supremacists who want them to get kept up. And that's what's going on in this episode right here. And so you have a school, a, a school protesting a statue of a person who fought for the Confederacy, who fought for slavery, who fought to keep um, to separate the country. You got somebody like that, and they, and they want this statue put down and not put there in front of their school, on their school. They want it, they want it taken down. And so you have a lot of supremacists also protesting against this, wanting it to stay up. Now, Anessa, again, like I said, they, they, they established that she learned a lesson, which I thought happened, but it turns out no. Now, in her frustration, she puts on her costume, she goes, now, before this happened, while they were protesting, while the protesting was going on, one of the, one of the, one of the a girl was killed by a white supremacist. She was killed. It was, it was the same thing that happened in, in, in the day's world. It, it actually did happen. They took, they took that, pretty much took that story and they put it in the show right here. And so, you have Vanessa, who's frustrated with what was going on, pissed off that somebody got killed by these white supremacists, and also pissed off that the statue is still there. Now you got these people there mourning their, their friend, mourning a loved one, s surrounding the statue. And her idea is to blow the statue up with all these people around, which could have got people killed or hurt really bad. Now this lesson, she, I thought she learned this lesson in the previous episode by using her powers recklessly, recklessly that gets somebody killed, but turns out, no. And, I, and I, I'm standing there now. I understand her frustration. I understand where this character is coming from. But the way they betrayed it, I just made her seem stupid. I just, you know that you could have got somebody killed doing this. And yes, she did feel bad afterwards. But the, but the, like I said, the execution part of it was really messed up. Because somebody could have died. Let's say, worst case scenario, they actually, they actually, I'm not sure, that, I'm, not, I'm glad they didn't play it that way. But let's say she, she did this, she blew the blue thing up. One of the stones flew off, hit somebody in the head, knocked them unconscious, hit the ground, they died. That would be her fault. And when the police come, it would be justified that she goes to jail. And like, you cannot root for her as a character. But it's dead. What? Because the thing, they established her to be very smart, highly intelligent. And you thought she would think she would learn from a lesson that way, but this, what? It was, that made no sense to me. And then another part I didn't like about this episode was the fact that I heard it Now, I get it. I get it. It's the superhero trope. It's, it happens in comic books. And it happens. So, so, so it's not the show's fault. 
well, somewhat. I mean, they, they didn't have to go in this direction, but they chose to go in the direction because that's how it is in the comic books. So, so you got Anessa and her father finally meeting each other in the superhero costumes. You got um, Jefferson as, as full on Black Lightning, and now I don't, I don't think Anessa has a name yet, but she's in her creature in her full costume, and they finally meet. Now, Pierce, here's, Pierce, here's a, um, Jefferson hears a call that his wife is in trouble. He rushes over to see it, and then he sees an, an, Anessa there. He, not, he doesn't know exactly what she's doing. All, all, he, all, she, all, he, all he does, she sees his wife tied up, and he sees Anessa. And so his idea is just to attack. Now you got, you got, um, you got Lynn, who looking at him saying, no, don't, don't do this. But she can't say nothing because her mouth taped up. But she's like, no, 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 no. But he just attacks anyway. Now, most the part to me, I'm thinking to myself, he couldn't tell that was his daughter. He couldn't tell that was his daughter. And then she fights back. I'm thinking myself, you can't tell that's your father. Now, I understand that they, I realized that they didn't know that um, he, that he didn't know he, she, he, she had powers. I got that part. And I also realized that, he, that she didn't know that um, he, her father's black lightning. That's why she, she never told him that she had powers, which I don't understand why she kept it to herself all this time. It made no sense to me, but whatever. And so, having them fight one another, I didn't like seeing. Because they're, they're, just, a, they're just a close-knit family. And they, they, do, they, they may have their problems, their disagreements. But having a father almost kill his own daughter because they didn't recognize each other. I, the part, that part, I, thought, mm, I couldn't quite get behind completely. I, I, it, took me, it took me out of the picture. I just, you couldn't tell that's your daughter. I mean, yes, she's wearing a wig. She got a little paint on her face, but you can tell that's your daughter. You raised this girl from a child to a baby to a grown woman. She's still living in your house. You couldn't tell that was your daughter? And you grew up with this man all your life, seen his face. All, you couldn't tell that was your father? I mean, I know it's a superhero thing. When they get the mask on, nobody can tell who they are, whatever. But still, I, I mean, the truth finally came out. Great. Fantastic. But the execution part to it, I, I couldn't quite get behind. Like, that, like, I wanted to love this episode, but I couldn't quite get behind it because you got these two smart, intelligent people. Instead of thinking things through, they're just reacting. It's on anger and impulse instead of just saying, hey, what's going on here? What's the situation? He just attacks first. Bam! Almost kills his daughter. And then she just attacks back. Bam! I just, what is happening? Oh. Now, and then the third thing, I still don't like the fact that Gammy is keeping secrets. We also, again, we found some, a little bit more truth about it, a little bit more about him, that he, that him and um, Lady Eve, he trained her when she worked, when, he both worked, when, they worked, when they both worked for the government. I guess it's NSA or whatever they were. And then she used to work for him, and he trained her. And so she took those skills, she went, she went private, and now she, now she became a, a criminal. And so, the, but the, the thing is, though, they made us have a deal or agreement a long time ago. And that's, that's why you keep a secret from Jefferson about um, Tobias, which makes no sense to me. Because, see, he's been pushing Jefferson to become Black Lightning since the beginning. And now that he's Black Lightning, he's trying to stop him at the same time. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, the, like er, everything that's happening in, in, in the city is because of Tobias. The drugs on the street is because of Tobias. Um, the 100, 100 game is because of Tobias. And he was willing for he was willing for Jefferson to go after these people, but he knows the only way to stop him is he had to go to the top. So he encouraged him to get back on board, knowing it's gonna to lead to the bias. And then when now he found out it's the bias, he's saying, Oh, don't do that. Don't go after the bias, don't kill him. Like, what? What type of deal did he make with him? What kind of secrets is he holding? Secrets on this show is killing everybody. Stop with the secrets. It's not helping. It's making things worse. A father almost killed his daughter because of secrets. Gamby might get, some, might get people killed. Or people are dying in the streets because of secrets. Stop it. It's not helping. Learn from your mistakes and then improve. Uh, you think these, because they, think they establish all these characters as smart people. They keep doing dumb things. They, they do dumb things, which makes no sense. But oh, oh whatever. This wasn't my favorite episode. I mean, I still, I'm still enjoying the show, and I'm still on board. But some of the decisions that they made for this episode, I just was quite on board with. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Black Lightning. 
And, and, if, and like I said, don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shabam, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. And also, hit that little bell at the bottom so you get notified every time I make a video. Well, like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.